Lately, there's been a lot of people making videos, which is great. I've gotten a lot of questions on how I make my videos. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to make your videos awesome. Stay tuned. Thanks everyone for always joining me here at these videos. If this video is helpful, leave a like and share it with somebody else that might need it. Uh, because if, you, if it was helpful to you, it might be helpful for somebody else. The first tip that I want to address is the equipment that you use. Here's the thing, the equipment, you might have great equipment, and obviously it does matter to have good equipment, but it doesn't matter so much. There's actually, look, I have a Panasonic G7, it's a good camera, but right now I'm actually using my, my iPhone, and all phones now have really good quality uh, uh, video. They probably even have a 4K camera. So you don't really need really expensive gear. Just use what you have. If you wanna use your phone, just make sure to record this way horizontally and not vertically. Because when you're making videos, the horizontal is the one that you want, okay? Not the, the uh, vertically. The vertically will give you those bars at the side, which doesn't, you can't really see. When you film it horizontally, you see a lot more. Now, even above the gear is the content. Believe it or not, the content is so much more important than what the actual equipment is that you're using is because if you have a good message, if you have good content, then people are gonna watch it. Obviously, they're not gonna watch in a you know, video that's really broken up and uh, bad audio, which we're gonna get to in a second, but yeah, they're gonna watch it because they wanna hear what you're saying and they have, you have something great to offer them. So the content is way more important than the actual equipment that you have. The third tip is the lighting of your video. Even if you have a great quality camera, but your lighting is horrible, your video is not gonna come out good. So make sure you have a good lighting. Like for example, right now, I have the sun facing directly to me. If you have to, this goes for pictures also, by the way. It doesn't just go for video. But if you're facing the, the sun, it might be a little too bright, but it's better than, look, if I turn around, you see how the quality kind of goes down a little bit more? So if you get the lighting, see how that's, so much better you can see kind of the shadow of the of the thing but you kind of gotta get it perfect get it better uh maybe right here next to under the shade of the tree it's a little bit better so lighting plays a big part in how your video is gonna look here birdie 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 here birdie birdie you could almost touch them tip number four is audio audio is very important as well because if your audio doesn't sound well then people aren't gonna tune in, even if you have something great to say. So usually uh, phones have good audio, but if you're gonna be outside, you're probably gonna need a mic. And that's why you see me wearing a mic. Uh, sometimes on my camera, I have a Rode mic. I, don't, I didn't bring it right now, but um, you could use a Rode mic. In your house, if you're, if you're doing it in your house, try to get areas where the, there's not too much echo. Uh, the echo is, uh, it, kills the, it kills the feed. It kills the audio. So look into those little things. Uh, it makes a big difference if your video is sounding crisp. If you're gonna film in your house, my suggestion is you could put some blankets up um, around you or do it in a room that's carpeted and has a lot of things in it that it's not too empty because if not, it creates this echo. And you don't want the echo. The echo kind of sounds a little bit bad. Going back to the lighting, check this out. Look, here's away from the lighting. Eh. Here's towards the lighting. It, like the video looks so much better and richer because the light is hitting me. There's a big difference there. I'm trying to keep this video very simple. And that's another thing, you're editing. Keep it simple, all right? Keep the editing very simple at first. If you're beginning, keep it simple. I know you've probably seen these videos where the editing is really nice, really cool. And you could probably get there. I would say you can, but you need, if you want to get to that level where the editing is superb, you're gonna have to put time and effort into it. So if you're just beginning, I would, I would say keep the editing very simple. Uh, there's several editing tools on phones. If you have the iPhone, the, um, the uh, iMovie is pretty good. Maybe it's not the best, but it's pretty good. It does the job. I've actually been doing my latest editing uh, videos have been on iPhone. Um, on, on my desktop, I have another one called Sony Vegas. Um, it's, it's not even the, the most expensive one, it, but it's, it starts having a lot of features. Now, the best one is called Premiere. That one's very expensive to have, but it, it's like top, top. Again, my advice is to keep it simple. If you have an Android or, or you have an iPhone, but you want to use another app. Another app that I use is called Video Shop. It's a really good app. 
Uh, the only thing is that the, the free version has a watermark on the top. If not, you'd have to get the paid version in order to get without the watermark. But it's still a really good app that you can use. Well, I hope that this video, these tips were helpful for you. I hope that you keep doing videos because we need way more content, good content out there. If you need, just give me a call and shout me out, uh, message me. I'm always available to help you out and help any, in anything you need, all right? And that's the way we keep breaking through. I'm going to be making another video uh, soon, part two, and give you five more tips on how to make your videos even better and better. All right? Catch you guys later. Check out this background here.